anytime you have a smaller feature, uh, a smaller shrub, um, long grasses, flowers, maybe a nice feature like this cool fence we have here, wine barrels, that kind of stuff, anything you don't need a super intense bright light for, uh, this is a great option because if you notice it has a wider angle lens so it spreads that light a little bit further which softens it as well as it's got a frosted filter on there so again it makes that light a lot softer so I recommend this anytime you have any structures uh, features anything like that that's under six feet it's a great light hey guys it's Cal from the lighting doctor here I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips to learn more about landscape lighting go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you want to see what a real quality landscape light should look like Go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's going to look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. I'm going to show you how to go and install three of our most popular lights and three of the most common fixtures that you're going to use in almost any landscape lighting design and walk you through how we go do that from our up lights that you're gonna to use to feature your house and trees. All our accent lights come with a very durable ground stake and LED bulb already built in that comes with that warm yellow 2700 Kelvin color temperature. I'm gonna show you guys how to go and properly install uh, different path lights and how to go and secure those properly in the ground. Again, all with very solid eight inch ground stakes as well as LED bulbs already included. And lastly, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, WS wash light that we use for any low line shrubs, anywhere where you don't need quite as brent's bright and intense of a light with a wider angle lens and a frosted filter for that soft, soft, softer light. Again, comes with a ground stake, comes with your warm white LED bulb already built in and all our bulbs are replaceable too. So as your landscape grows, especially with the up light, you can simply go and replace the bulbs inside with brighter bulbs. When they run out in 10, 15 years down the road, you can easily go exchange those and you don't have to replace the whole fixture. So it makes it a really good bang for your buck, and especially when you see the quality of these lights that you can access in all our Try Before You Buy kits where you can buy all these lights that I just discussed at a discounted rate that comes with our battery pack. So you can actually just go and plug your lights in and go and test them out and see how they're gonna look at night before you make any major purchases. So we're gonna walk you through how you go and install all these lights and what are the benefits of some of these today. All right, guys, today we're gonna to show you the RS up light. We've already installed it, it's already wired, but I wanna show you a couple features uh, that are nice about this. This one's been in for a while. We've used it to highlight this tree here, and as you can see, it's not too far back from the base. That's a common mistake that people tend to bring that light too far back and try and point it at the canopy. And what happens is um, you miss a lot of the trunking structure and stuff. So a good rule of thumb, obviously the bigger the tree, you're probably gonna have it a little bit further back so you don't create a big hot spot. But 12 to 24 to 36 inches back uh, is a great way. But a great way to, or a great tip, is that you almost always wanna adjust that light more upright than you actually think. So many people put it far back and they point it at the canopy. And what that does, it creates a big hot spot. Whereas if you get it a little bit more upright, it tends to do a better job of highlighting the trunk, the branches, the leaves, and all of that stuff. So good rule of thumb when you're adjusting your lights, uh, which are very easy with just a simple Phillips screwdriver, loosen that off and aim that more upright. Another thing I like about this guy here is that inside is a bulb that this tree is still fairly small. Um, and as that tree grows, we can very easily just twist off this top part. We've got a nice rubber proof seal. We've got our lamp in there. Then now we can just go and replace. And same thing, as this light burns out and eight, 10, 15 years, whatever it might be, you can very easily just go replace that with another MR16 bulb. And as that tree grows, if you wanna increase the tenth intensity of that light, you can also go do that just by swapping out the bulb inside, which makes it for a great light. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is a hex baffle. Um, I talk about these in a lot of videos. Anytime you have a light that is close to a walking area or you wanna conceal the light source so as you walk beside it, that light's not shining in your eye, a simple hex baffle like this uh, is a really way, easy way to go do that. Basically, usually just throw it right under the glass here, go put this back on, and now 
we're gonna have very little glare from the side and around here. It's gonna really concentrate the light up here. It does take away a little bit from the light, but not a whole lot. So it's not something that I would typically worry about. But again, the nice thing about that is now, if you find that it does take away more than you would like for that tree, you can simply just go put a brighter bulb, still use that hex baffle and get a great effect. So one of the best lights on the market by far, incredibly well built, uh, the RS, uplight that you can get in all our try it before you buy it kits go and plug it into our battery pack and test it out and really feel and see what that's going to look like before you go and have to buy a whole bunch hey guys it's cal from the lighting doctor here we're going to show you how to light up your landscape with the pl path light from fx luminaire this is a great light to use anytime that you need to highlight some walkways or steps or create some security lighting in some really dark areas um, it's a great light for uh, just creating some contrast between some accent lighting on your home and in your landscape between some down lighting down on the ground and the garden bed areas that you use. Um, the one thing I will say about the path light and any path light is people often tend to use more path lights than they need to. So my recommendation is uh, use these sparingly and use them only where you need to to create that contrast. If you have areas where you have big giant rocks or boulders in your landscape, it's a great light to use because you get a lot of reflective light off of those rocks. Uh, something that I always get asked about these lights is how far apart do you space them? And as a general rule of thumb, we tell people eight to 12 feet apart, but it really depends on how dark that area is. The darker the area, the further away you can space them. And changing the intensity of the bulb doesn't always change how bright that light is gonna be or how far that light's gonna spread. It's more determined by the height of the riser. So in most of our kits, you're gonna find a standard 12 inch riser that you can space between eight and 12 feet, depending on how dark that area is. But if you're looking to spread that light a little bit further, look at getting an 18 inch or 24 inch riser on your path lights. And that's how you can go and really spread that light out so that you don't have to overuse them, but you can just use them in the right spots to create that subtle down lighting on your garden beds, patios, and so many more other areas. But if you're looking for more ideas on where to use these and how to best use these, be sure to go to our website at lightingdoctor.ca and access our free consultation video series where you can actually send us pictures of your property and we're gonna send you some different ideas on how you can go and best use this light and so many others. So guys, now I wanna show you our WS Wash Light. Um, really good light and alternative to um, the RS Uplight. Anytime you have a smaller feature, uh, a smaller shrub, um, long grasses, flowers, maybe a nice feature like this cool fence we have here, wine barrels, that kind of stuff. Anything you don't need a super intense bright light for, uh, this is a great option because if you notice it has a wider angle lens so it spreads that light a little bit further which softens it as well as it's got a frosted filter on there. So again, it makes that light a lot softer. So I recommend this. Anytime you have any structures, uh, features, anything like that that's under six feet, it's a great light. In this case, what we've done is we've used it to highlight really our uh, unique fence we have here as well as a wine barrel we have in the background. Again, same as our up light, there's an adjustable screw on this side that you can just simply, you can simply unscrew and then you can angle that a little bit it comes with your LED bulb already built inside and it same thing is as that burns out you can easily just undo these set screws replace that bulb uh, and you can if you find it's too bright you can always lower the brightness of that so again a really good light a great light if you're ever dealing with situations where you don't need something quite as bright as intense as an up light uh, really good for highlighting small wide features Hey guys, if you're tired of shopping on Amazon and the big box stores for all the cheap lights, let me show you what a real premium quality fixture should look like with our try it before you buy it offer, where you can actually go and buy one of our premium quality fixtures at a discounted rate and try it out for 14 days. And it comes with a King Innovation Instalight that you can simply just go plug that light in and test it out on your property and see what's gonna look best. And if you love it, you get to keep it at the discounted rate and just buy any additional lights that you need on top of that. And if you don't, you just send it back for a full refund. So go and check it out at lightingdoctor.ca and for more helpful landscape lighting tips, go and search YouTube for Lighting Doctor. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. 
And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.